A man is in critical condition tonight at UMC after police opened fire on him as he was ramming their vehicles with his car. Now, two nearby schools were put on lockdown. And 13 Action News reporter Sasha Gomez right now is near Sig Rogich Middle School. And tonight, a concerned mom, she wants answers. She says that her son's campus did not notify her about what was happening here, Sasha. Yeah, she does want some answers. Now I'm near two of one of the two schools that were on lockdown this morning. Now this is Palo Verde High School. The other was Sig Rogish Middle School uh, when police were looking for that wanted man. But I did talk to one mom who whose son attends that middle school who tells me uh, what it was like for her son today. He told me he could hear the gunshots. Like how close was that? <laughs> you know, it was it was very frightening as a parent. You just don't know. Police arrived to this area near Ulta and Pavilion Center just before 9 this morning, looking for a man wanted for violent felony crimes. Investigators say the man did not come out of the home peacefully and started ramming police vehicles with his car. It was then when police fired upon him. One mom says she had no idea what was happening. I was freaking out. I was texting my other friend who was able to talk to her daughter, and she was like, we're all like on a hard lockdown right now. We're not supposed to be on our phones and all that stuff. Students leaving school say they were put on lockdown. This mom says her son heard gunshots. We heard the gunshots. We're actually here in the ambulances and the police department right now. They just moved us to a soft lockdown, but I'm okay. But she says the school left her in the dark feel like we should have been notified, you how, know, how like a text message, an email. She says an email would have been nice, like this one she received from her other child's school conducting a drill. Yeah, now, now I spoke to the Clark County School District spokesperson who tells me that each school is responsible on how they conduct emergencies or incidents like this morning and says that uh, parents have to utilize the services called ParentLink. Apparently, ParentLink is a campus portal app, um, which the Palo Verde High School uh, principal utilized that app, but the middle school did not. And uh, that parent that you just heard from wanted more details and she did not get that. Sasha Gomez, 13 Action News, Elevating Las Vegas.